So I just wanted to pay tribute to um, probably one of the, the most uh, fascinating, kindest, um, very humble people that I've ever met. Uh, somebody who started off as a customer and became a great friend, and, uh, and that's Pete Skinner. And anybody that follows Animal Guitars, follows our content, will have seen comments by Pete Skinner. You'll have seen uh, content that we've put up featuring Pete and, uh, and the great pictures that he's sent us and the videos all over the years. Uh, but unfortunately, Pete um, lost his battle and, uh, and moved on to, uh, to new performances in the sky. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been hard uh, hearing of Pete's passing because he, he genuinely was way more than just a customer. He was a good, a good, good friend. And I got to meet him on two occasions when I delivered guitars to him. And I just thought I'd just think back on, on how I first kind of came across him. So the first time he bought one of our guitars wasn't directly from us, it was through a dealer. And uh, he contacted me afterwards. Actually, he didn't contact me. I just started to see his comments on Facebook. And uh, I remember one of the first things that I saw was that uh, he had changed his profile picture to the Animal Guitars logo. And I thought, that's kind of a bit cheeky. And, um, but this guy, was, he was just always full of enthusiasm about what we did. And, uh, and that was Pete. And he came then and bought a guitar from us. And then he bought another guitar from us. And he started building this collection. And there was something about what we did that Pete loved. Um, he loved the interesting instruments and he you know, has an eclectic taste of instruments and uh, we were able to make those things for him. And then his wife, uh, Eileen, had arranged um, to get a special guitar for him uh, for his birthday. And uh, we decided that as a present, as a surprise, we'd pop over to Blackpool and surprise him with that guitar. Well, a heart ukulele actually it was. And uh, so I can remember just before Christmas, uh, five years ago, arriving and surprising him out of the blue with that, that beautiful little uh, harp ukulele that he played so much. Um, I think I've seen him playing the harp ukulele more than any of our instruments. But uh, after that, Pete bought more guitars, built up a collection, and you know, almost has one of everything in the, in the Emerald collection. And last year, he contacted me about doing two special guitars uh, to celebrate the um, 45th wedding anniversary um, of himself and Eileen. And uh, so we decided that that was a really good time to go back, uh, I think five years later. So just before Christmas, we flew out there and uh, just had a fantastic day with Pete. Um, surprised him again with these two guitars. Uh, surprised both himself and Eileen. Um, neither of the two knew we were coming. But I can remember at the end of the, the day, as we were departing, um, Pete kind of pulled me aside and said, "That's we may not meet again. And, um, and yeah, uh, I knew he was in uh, a long struggle with, uh, with health, health issues. But I can safely say that right to the end, uh, he was inspiring people with his music and uh, making a difference everywhere he went. Uh, everybody, uh, and, and the, you know, a few small times that I met him, everybody around him just had so much time for Pete. Uh, and I know everybody in the guitar communities uh, online, uh, because he was so prolific in writing on, on various different forums, uh, everybody loved the contribution of Pete Skinner. So he's going to be sadly missed, but I was reminded just uh, yesterday actually um, that his memories are going to live on. Uh, on Facebook we have this great thing called Facebook Memories where these memories keep popping up. Um, so his music is there, his legacy is there, and the memories are going to keep popping up, and uh, and that makes me happy. And uh, I was just, I was just having a look through this book, and um, uh, whenever there was a, a book written about Emerald guitars, um, we were putting in different uh, customers and their stories, and of course we had to have Pete in there, and uh, and the great picture of Pete dressed as Santa Claus, playing uh, an amicus. And uh, I think that's just the way I want to remember him. I got to make guitars for Santa Claus. Um, so, yeah.
as I say, your company isn't a company selling guitars. It's, it's, it's fulfilling dreams. So this is one of those events that uh, I just really, really love doing. Sometimes a customer becomes way more than a customer and really becomes a friend. And five years ago, uh, almost today, I delivered a guitar by hand to Pete Skinner. So if you're a friend of Emerald, you'll know Pete Skinner. You'll have seen him in, his, in our videos and our content, our pictures. And uh, Pete has just been such a great guy over the years, has a great collection of emeralds. And he ordered two special guitars um, to commemorate himself and his wife Eileen's um, 45th wedding anniversary. Uh, so two very special guitars. And I thought, well, it might be a really nice special thing to do, to just jump on a flight, a uh, 35 minute flight across here to Blackpool today. And uh, we're gonna go and surprise them. So come along for the journey. Love you with all my heart. <laughs> song to walk in on. Yes, it could have been better. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I just borrowed that. <laughs> I, I, you see, I heard you were exclusive Emerald player, so that's why I brought you another one. <laughs> right. We just had to do it. It was just one of those things, you know, it's just two special guitars uh, for two special people. Absolutely. And uh, I think everybody that knows you will agree. And I know a lot of the Emerald community agree that, you know, you're a special guy in the Emerald community. Santa and, um, Claus is special everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we just thought we'd jump on a plate and come over and surprise you. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad my hospital appointment this morning was brought forward. <laughs> because it was at 11.30 I would have been here by now otherwise. So, uh, there we are. Life is a game. Can I open it? Yeah. Well, there's one each. Oh, it's remember on my my 65th birthday and our 40th wedding anniversary which was our ruby wedding anniversary you arranged for me to acquire or my wife did a beautiful uh, harp synergy uh, ukulele which it read of course for the occasion which you delivered to us so when we were talking about, and the family were saying to us, what do you want to do for your anniversary this year? The sapphire one, the blue one. We said, oh, we don't know. And we were looking at the guitars and I've been talking about an X10 for several years, as you well know, and talking about pictures of cheddar on it and, yeah. and things like that. And then I got into the high vibe system and then we were discussing it online and you had a, a great fun one evening with bagpipes coming out of it, if I remember right. Um, and we, we discussed it and we both said, what would be, what could be beautiful, more beautiful than a 
pair of matching guitars uh, with a high vibe system in it. Um, in blue, a vibranty, bluey, shiny, beautiful colour, um, which it is. And then, after you came up with some ideas, we ended up with, on the back of the necks, the, the phrase that we're reasonably well known for, which is sausage and egg bar. Sausage and egg bar. <laughs> 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 And I, re I remember thinking to myself, sausage and egg bomb, we could have that on. <laughs> After discussions with yourself, of course, we, we came to having the, the guitars and on the back of it, words that we're reasonably well known for, which are from the, the song, uh, I Will, by the Beatles, which we've been doing since before the Beatles did it. <laughs> um, so we, we, and on the back you've had the beautifully engraved, you know, this is just going to go through history, whether we're here or not, to, to our son and then to his son, uh, who's a new addition to the family, and the new Emerald Desirer. So that's basically was, was what it was all about, and, and then by your wonderful little toy that you've got online now, we, we designed what we wanted, the, the inlay. Uh, and you know, the play of the Well, I just think the words are just such a nice tribute to each other, you yeah. know, and it, it's the best part of what I get to do is seeing people's reactions. And we always say that we don't just sell guitars, we sell stories. And there's always these stories that connect people to guitars, and it's, it's such a beautiful thing. And then the music that they sing on them, and I think your story together, and the story you've got with Emerald, you know, with this being number twelve and number thirteen, I think. Um, thirteen and four. Oh, well, thirteen and one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just so nice to be part of it, and just, it was a pleasure to be able to come over here today and do this. Really. I, I, one of the things that uh, that I've always said, Alice, is. When, when I originally decided that I wanted a carbon fibre guitar, uh, a, a new one, uh, which would have been, oh, so many years ago now, it seems, seems like a lifetime away, and the Playaway Guitars managed to find me a, a, an X7, uh, which at the same time that he got his X5, and then I bought the X20 because I was told that you no longer were dealing with um, retailers. And I thought, as, and I've told you this before, I thought you did a silly thing. But because of that, I contacted you. And because of that, I, I not only got a, a friend, I got a bunch of friends in Ireland, uh, because your whole factory are, are, are like second family to us. And, you know, and I, I was chatting on Kevin when I, when I got the virtual the other week. and I was, you know, and I, I'm sure he was thinking, am I ever going to get offline with this chap or not? You know, but, but you're such lovely people. You really are, you know. Um, I mean, my only main experience of Irish has been with, uh, with our man here, you know. And, but I, after meeting you, I know that they are quite nice. We're not bad people. <laughs> <laughs> but, but absolutely fantastic, you know. And, and it really is, you know, and you've done that. And, and, and supplying smiles more than anything you know, uh, and a lifetime of music to people. Yeah, and you, you, you are a phenomenal person with oh, a phenomenal you. company, you thank know. You. And I'm not just saying that because there's somebody down there with a 50 pound note waving at me. Because <laughs> yeah. it must have to be euros anyhow. But it is, it is it's such a privilege when somebody says, they were, you know, we're building their dream guitar. You know, when somebody entrusts us to build a, a dream guitar for them, you know, that's, that's a dream come true for me, you know, yeah. and this, this is the dream job. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, no, thanks so much for letting us come over and do this. Um, well, you, you, you've, you've carried on your father's start in supplying toys to boys and girls. <laughs> and as Santa, what more could I ask for? <laughs>